Hey everyone, welcome back. So in my previous video, we discussed the data warehouse from the business and the technical point of view. In this video, we're gonna do our first exercise, which is building a data warehouse from the relational database. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna get some data set and load that data into our table. Once we do that, we will be basically understand how this data is located inside the relational database. So we will do some data analysis on top of that. And after that, we will basically convert that particular schema into star schema so that we can build a data warehouse. So without wasting time, let's get started. Now, uh, as you might remember, we were working with this sample data set, which is available. This is DVD rental ER model. Okay. So you can go to this particular website. I will provide the link in the description. So you can go to this website and download the data from here. Once you download that data, you need to load that data into your database. So just click on this link and it will redirect you to over here. Just follow these commands. So what you need to do, you need to first open your PostgreSQL and create the database name as DVD rental. Once you do that, you need to go to this directory, which is inside your Postgres bin directory and run this particular command and provide your data set path from the tar file. So once you do that and you will be able to load your data into your database. Now we're going to be using PG admin for this interaction. Okay. We are, we are not going to write the Python code or we are not going to do everything on the terminal. The reason we're going to use the PG admin because the UI is user friendly and you will be able to understand more things much better. So what you need to do is just go to Google PG admin. Okay and just download based on your operating system once you download it it's a simple process just click on the next 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 and install it and once you do that you can go to your start menu and just uh, write pg admin and you will find that particular thing and just open it once you open that uh, you will be able to see your all the data servers and your database is available over here so just go to your PostgreSQL and open your DVD rental data set. Inside the DVD rental database, you will automatically find that 15 tables has been added uh, when you run all this, this command. So we have all the data available over here. So what we're going to do first, we're going to understand how this data is built and we do some analysis on top of it. And after that, we will basically convert this all the tables to a star schema structure so that we can load that particular data into data warehouse. Now let's first understand the schema design of this data. So first we will just look into the different tables we have such as customer. We have the customer information, inventory information, uh, the DVD rental. So you need to keep the track of all the DVDs. We have categories, film categories, then film information. It has all the information related to films. Then this is like rental table, which keep tracks of the rental, uh, rental things that has been done. Then we have the payment table for that particular rental. We have star, film actor, store ID, country, city, and all the other things. Okay. So we have this data and they are connected using the different primary key and foreign key. Now just uh, let's run our first query. So what we're going to do, we're going to basically click on the query tool, just right click on the table and we will, let's say we want to get the number of customers available inside the customer table. So what we're going to do, select count. This is a syntax of SQL from table name. So table name is our customer. So we're just going to run this particular command and you will see the final out. We have like 599 customers available or uh, in this customer table. Now same way we can do for let's say uh, store. How many stores do we have? So. We have only two stores available uh, inside this particular uh, table. Now, let's see if I want to find out the range of data I'm dealing with. So, as you can see over here, inside the payment, we have like payment date. So, we can find out when was the first payment made and when was the last or the recent payment which we made. So, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna select minimum. What is uh, what is the column name? So, you just click on the payment. Uh, it will load all the columns so all the columns are available here so we can just drag this payment over here payment date so let's say the minimum payment comma then we're gonna get the maximum payment is the max then we just gonna copy this payment date which will give us the max and max payment from the table name so table name is our payment payment and just run this particular command and you will see we have like the data from 4th February 2007 to 14 May January, March, April, May, yeah, 14 May 
2007 so it is around like two to three months of the data we have available over here now to understand we have like payment data available here now let's do some analysis on top of this okay so let's say if i want to track down payment information related to the film information so what i mean is uh, let's say we have the payment id over, available over here and inside the payment we don't have like film id or inside the film we don't have the payment id so there is no direct connection between two both the tables so what we need to do we need to track down different foreign key and the primary key in order to get the final information so question we are trying to ask over here is the how much sales we made from the particular film so what i mean is we don't have like direct connection so we're gonna be basically joining multiple tables and get the final information so as you can see over here we have the payment table which is connected with the different tables with the staff rental and we have this customer table okay so inside the payment table we have multiple ids available so let's use the rental id okay now we're going to use the rental id so rental id is on top of here so it is coming from the rental table now let's see rental table is connected to how many tables so we have the inventory table that is connected using the inventory id we have one more customer table that is connected to rental and we have staff table now as you can see the inventory id is directly connected to film table so inside the inventory table we have the film id available so what we can use so what we can do we can use payment rental inventory and film id to get the final outcome now it might be a little bit confusing right now but once we write the query you will be able to understand the better but just understand we're going to use this four table because they have some kind of similar key available inside there so let's first see the payment table okay payment table select star from payment and as you can see we have like all these things available inside the payment so what i need to do i just need three columns from this which is one is my payment id payment id comma rental id comma amount okay and also i'm gonna just give the alias to this particular table p so i can directly access p dot payment id then p dot rental id and p dot amount so i'm gonna run this particular query and you'll be able to see now we only access the three columns which we only need now what we're gonna do we're gonna basically connect this payment with the rental id so the syntax for that is pretty simple i'm just gonna do the join so join is uh, pretty straightforward what you write is join okay then rental this is your table name available over here so this is our rental table uh, where is it yeah so this is the rental table and inside the rental table we have inside the payment table we have rental id inside the rental table we have payment id i'm going to give the alias as r on p dot rental id equal to r dot rental id now we will be able to join this particular table with the rental table so from the rental table what we need we need is inventory id okay that's it because we're going to be using inventory id uh, to join the inventory table so let's write one more column over here which is r uh, r dot let's write rental let's get rental id also rental id comma r dot uh, what we have is uh, let's go to rental just uh, we have inventory id so we're gonna be adding inventory id over here and just let's just run this particular query now you can see we have payment rental id uh, for that particular rental id so we have duplicates for our uh, rental id now one is coming from the payment table and one is coming from the rental table so we, you can see these values are same 152 1778 so all these things are being joined on this particular column so we don't need like multiple rental id so we, i'm just going to remove this particular rental id and you will be able to see we have the final output which is payment id rental id amount and inventory id now i'm going to repeat the same process for this which is basically join inventory i on r dot inventory id equal to i i dot inventory id now from the inventory table what i want is film id so i'm just gonna write i i dot film id and i'm just gonna run this particular query and you can see i have the film id available over here now it's pretty simple we we have the film id available now i'm just gonna a join film information with the film id okay so with the inventory so 
this is again you do the join join film f on i dot film id equal to f dot film id and i'm just gonna get the title i'm just gonna get the title of the film from this particular table so what i'm gonna f dot title i guess that is uh, your column name so let's run this particular thing so now we have the final outcome and as you can see we have finally get the payment information and we got the, we finally got the payment information for different pin so as you can see uh, this particular film okay which was the film uh, 794 for this particular payment has been made with the amount 7.99 and that way there are many films uh, for that we have the information for that payment so this way we basically was able to join multiple columns together in order to get the final outcome and this is how you do analysis and this gets easier when you have the schema diagram so it is really important to first build a schema diagram to understand all these things now let's see if i want to find the final revenue based on the film so let's see if i want to find like maiden home okay how much money does this film make by selling it to other people so what i'm going to do uh, this is pretty simple so what we need to do we need to group by this particular film title okay and just add the sum just add the amount in order to find out the final outcome so what i'm i will just uh, remove all these things okay so the things i want is just amount and the film title or film id whatever i can say okay and at the end what you need to do is write group by so we're gonna be basically grouping by the title so which is our f dot title and we're gonna be just adding this particular uh, amount sum uh, let's a uh, little bit clean it up let's put the title first and the sum afterwards and this is uh, let's give it the name as a revenue okay this is our revenue so as you can see we are just basically selecting title which is coming from this film table and to in order to get this film table we need to join two tables in between and we are just gonna sum the amount for the from the payment and just run this particular query and as you can see we have all the information available and the revenue available for, for that particular film so we were able to get the final outcome now let's say if i want to get the max revenue from this film so what i can do i just need to write order by and based on this sum p amount okay uh, i'm gonna do is descending order just order this in descending order and you'll be able to see the telegraph voyage was the like highest revenue film and if i want to do it for the for the lowest uh, revenue film i can do like ascending order and it will give the texas wash was the my the lowest uh revenue from the film so i got the lowest now here's the challenge for you guys so we did this particular thing for the films and the payment now what you need to do we need to find the top city that is providing us the revenue based on the film sold so you need to join this city tables with the query which is fraud okay and get the highest amount or the revenue we are generating from this city so we found which film is giving us the highest revenue now we need to focus on which city is giving us the highest revenue so that is the challenge for you guys but if you have any if you have any doubts if you're not able to figure it out then you can join the discord channel so i will help you out over there to understand how these things are organized and in the next video we're gonna be trying to reduce this schema into the star schema so we're gonna be building our first star schema model and build the data warehouse inside the posters only and in the future videos we will move to the aws and build a richer data warehouse so see you in the next video thank you